Greetings, I'm Les. And I am Scandal. And we're going to review a book. So yes. this is Catfishing on Catnet, a novel by Naomi Kritzer, which I actually performed. And um, we're going to sort of share our thoughts on the preview. Yes, and it was actually a preview, though, that was read by dear old lives over here. Yes, that was dear the one where I said I had, I had done it. It was yeah. actually, it was kind of fun to try and perform an AI, but I felt like I shouldn't breathe. Uh-huh. Like, you, you don't... Breathe if you're an AI. So, <laughs> so the performance was a little bit challenging. Well, just pretend you're Glados and you'll be fine. It's fine. Anyway, um, your thoughts? Um, catfishing on Catnet. It was intriguing enough. Honestly, I have to say, I'm still kind of like I'm vaguely curious. There's nothing that I found terribly like egregious in this particular setup for the preview for the story, mm-hmm. but it also wasn't motivating enough. Like it didn't feel like it had a strong enough pull as to what was going on like i didn't really have a serious amount of curiosity so yeah in in the preview the the book does start a bit slowly like it feels like it's going to be a little bit of a quieter book right and which I isn't think, bad no not at all i feel like the pull-in was supposed to be essentially the introduction by the ai so that it was a something big is clearly happening and going to be a theme but that we're just going to be able to start more slowly with the story i mean i was intrigued by that because it also so if you all don't know for the most part you are completely unprotected on the internet as regards to the way that we do stuff in the united states like Plus, this movie this excuse me this book is based <laughs> in the united states in the united states and all of the material in here like i just immediately was going yep that's true we've got no safety we've got no security actually somebody i loved pointed out going like we are actually more closely watched than they ever were in the soviet union yeah like and so <laughs> internet security is a big thing right now so this book feels like a very timely sort of ti- uh, like subject matter uh-huh. but i don't um, think they're gonna go into that at all i don't know um honestly i was curious as to how the author would approach it um based on their introduction the idea that they were going you know here is the actual ai and what they know about you and what they perceive and where they spend their time and here is you know our main character who's trying to hide from someone uh-huh. and that basically all of your data and it doesn't necessarily mean you're not functionally safe because of the data it's that you might not be as safe because someone might use the data against you like the data itself doesn't do anything if uh-huh. it's not in the hands of someone uh-huh. and that the idea is is if the data can be stored somewhere and anyone means you harm or could you know basically cause you trouble with the data that could be a major problem and so um the idea that she's running from you know her dad who is you know a great danger to her and her mother and that all of her information is collected on this one of the only actual functioning ais that's been let loose on the internet is is kind of an interesting premise like and again it makes me wonder where she's going to go with it or what direction she's going to take like i don't want it i kind of worry that there's going to be some sort of like light moral purity of don't be on your devices but i don't feel like that's the technological author. kids these days right? such zombies blah 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 when you don't even know who they're talking to or what they're doing with their t- like it's just right but i say but know. i don't feel like the author was setting up for that judgment i'm no. only concerned about it not because of the author but because of how loud the message is yeah. these days so for me i was kind of interested and i was considering reading the rest of the book um the writing was skillful yeah. it was pretty straightforward felt like a standard you know teen to juvenile fiction as far as that yeah but it didn't talk down to you at any point what I really liked, based on some of the teen and juvenile fiction that I've read lately, is that they didn't make the adults Stupid. incompetent. God. Oh my god. So um, so many of these books, when they're focusing on a teen protagonist, make all the adults seem like they're completely nonsense. Where the only thing to happen is that once you hit real adulthood, you'll be as stupid as every other adult. And this book didn't set that up. You didn't encounter a whole lot of adults, but it didn't do it in the same egregious way that so many of them do, right. where they paint the adults as totally incompetent. Her mom clearly is able to make a living even while moving constantly mm-hmm. and dragging out, you know, in and out of different towns, you know, every couple of weeks sometimes. Right. Which is, again, I'm like, wow, that is a serious level of, like, trauma and pain. And let alone the fact that, like, so even the main character herself is kind of, you get this kind of vague point where she's like, She's really just going, you know, she really just seems to kind of want us to move because she just thinks that something's there. Like, she can't even confirm it, but she's so paranoid. And I'm like, damn, that is a history. Like, uh-huh. genuinely, that is a level of trauma. But I'm also wondering, basically, so for the for the main character, for how hard she's basically gone into the cat net, mm. right, is basically seem like she's coping so much, not only with the fact that they keep moving all the time, so she feels like she can't have any friends, um, but then, you know, she mentions, of course, all of her friends are on CatNet, which is where I'm like, but that seems silly. You should be able to still, like, text or mail, you know, email all your friends on your phone anyway. Or, See, I don't know, I'm just like, there's some of that where I'm going, I don't know. That was kind of an interesting... 
interesting thing is that, um, and I think I think a lot of it just has to do with how much her mom's dragging her around and how long it's been. If you've never spent more than nine months in any one location and you don't make friends quickly or you've just never had mm-hmm. that magic spark that some people get. Yeah. Some people never in their lives get that spark of instant friends. Right. And if she's never been that type, if she builds friends slowly over time, then um, she would, since this was when she was very, very young and they've been moving for many many years at this point like but wouldn't you think that you would ten have eventually years. come up with like skills to be able to sort of like combat that i'm not saying that that's something like that you can just do because you know you encounter it so much some people honestly do become way worse because you do basically keep yanking the carpet out from underneath them as uh-huh, it were but some people get really good about jumping as soon as the carpet starts moving see and i so, feel like that i don't is, know i feel like that is her coping i feel like her solution is i'm good with catnet Okay. So I feel like she has done that, but she just hasn't necessarily taken the physical route to do it. And so she's not really trying to make friends in a lot of locations since she's connected to people on CatNet because she feels like she has those friends. Right. So so there's not really any pressure, basically, to perform. Mm -hmm. And not that I'd want you to perform with your friends anyway. Guy, get friends who like you, dang it. Right. That you get along with. Like, I don't... That you don't need to prove anything to. Like, seriously. Uh, anyway, so that was that was kind of my feelings on the preview for this book. I yeah. thought I thought the author really had a clear picture of what they wanted to do. Um, I liked that they didn't talk down to the reader in any way, and that they seemed to they and they didn't sort of marginalize the mother's experience through her daughter's eyes, mm. which was nice because she did have some of that. The well, I don't know how she tells, but it wasn't like she was invalidating her mom in any way, mm-hmm. and that was kind of nice for me. Yeah. No, I I agree. Like, again, I kind of want to read it, but I kind of don't. It's that weird thing of going, it's interesting, but I don't know whether or not it would really appeal to me. Again, the setup wasn't very, it didn't feel very strong. Gripping. Yeah, it wasn't like, ah, oh, yes, this is a subject I, I very strongly feel, yeah. yeah. So it. Neither of us yeah. could deeply identify with it. Um, however, neither of us have had anyone stalking or tracking us really in a big way. Uh-huh. Um, so, and that, that could just Despite be... Despite the fact that I know the government is watching us at all times, but, It's you know. fine. Watch me catch <laughs> the Pokemon. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. I have been Les. And I am Scandal. And if you want to check out the rest of our channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Or if you want to see our featured channel for other things we do, that would be lovely. Take yeah. care of yourselves out there. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.